Hey guys, now today I'm going to do baking, but I'm not actually using my oven. I'm using my bread machine. And what I'm going to do with this is make a chocolate cake. Now, I've used this several times for uh, making bread, but I never use it to make um, a homemade cake. So I'm going to try it today. If it's an epic fail, then, um, well, we'll both know not to do that again. But at the same time, I've used it to make those box cakes when I want a cake in a hurry. And it works beautifully. So I thought, well, I might as well try and use the, um, you know, homemade scratch stuff. And anyways, I'm rambling on like I do. So let's get into this and you'll see what I'm doing here. So can't use this yet, but you can use this with lots of things for lots of things. So I have, I have my milk. I have two eggs. I have a, my milk, eggs. I'm going to, I'm going to put all this liquid in here. I have a, a half a cup of butter if I can get it out. And okay so I have my milk and my eggs and my butter in here so I'm kind of stirring it around. And I think I'm going to add my vanilla which is a couple of teaspoons. Now I'm going to add, I have my baking soda and baking powder I'm sticking in. I'm putting in my sugar, two cups. Now I have my cocoa powder. I'm adding that in. That's, that was supposed to have been a couple uh, tablespoons, but I added a little extra because I like that extra punch. And last but not least, my flour. I'm going to add, add that. A little bit at a time. As you can see, it's, it's starting to look pretty good. Actually, it smells good too. I'm just going to add the rest of this. Look at that. Now, I'm going to add a cup of water. This is hot water. Actually, two. It's a cup. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time on that. But if you can see that it's getting a pretty good consistency. Smelling yummy. Actually, I can eat it just like this. I love you. My mom used to make cakes and I used to just actually uh, ask for the spoon so I can get with it. <laughs> and lick that spoon all up. But now it's not too safe to do that with those eggs i'm just gonna go ahead and pour it, pour it in there okay so guys i'll be right back so as you can see look how nice that is good con you know the thing about it guys is i do have a blender and i have the hand mixers and all that stuff but for some reason i just always revert to doing it doing things by with this work i don't I don't know why, I just do. So I'm gonna pull this out. And as you can see, it have the, all that in there. And actually I was supposed to dump this in here, just dump all the ingredients in here and let this thing do its work. But instead I just went ahead and did it for it. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Now if it's an epic fail, you guys might not see this. But if not, then you will be seeing it. Because <laughs> uh, I've never made the scratch. Um, like I said, this, this scratch cake, chocolate cake from not the box in this bread machine. Now, I made a scratch cake all the time, but not like this. Okay, so as you can see, it's in there. And see what's going to happen is now, since I've already mixed this, 
it's going to actually do it again in here. And what I should have done was maybe mix it less. I just didn't want to take so long. So let me show you. See now, this is on. I'm going to put it, set it to a quick cycle, which is three, four. That's the, that. Do I want a medium, dark, or light? Hmm. I think I'll go with light crust. I don't want the crust to be real dark. Um, so it's on, like I said, I set it to four. I press start, and it's doing its thing. If you can look in, you see, I don't know if it's bright enough so you can see, but it's doing this thing in there. And I should have just dumped all ingredients in there to make it easier on myself. But I didn't do it. I wanted to do it this way just to see what it would it turn out like. So you guys, I'll be back with the finished results and I'll let you know what happened next. All right. All right. So as you can see, it's doing this thing, mixing it up and everything. Um, I'm hoping that it, everything got caught on the video because I'm not sure. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, two, I will be back with the finished results and let you guys know how it turned out. I hope it's not an epic fail. But anyway, I'll get back with you. All right. Okay, guys. Now, as you can see, the mixture, look at it. Look how smooth. Look at that. That is extremely smooth. But that's what I wanted to see. So, anyway, you see it's working for me. I'm not even doing anything. But I could have, like I said, put all the ingredients in here and let, that, let the bread machine do its work. But, anyways, guys, I'll be back to show you the results. Okay, guys. So, now at this point, would you come, come closer? Now, what you will see is that it went off. The cake is done. And so basically, let it sit there for a few minutes and then I'll take it out. In about maybe uh, five minutes, I'll take it out and dump it on, the, on a cooling rack, let it cool down, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, guys, now I'm going to take it out. So to take it out, you twist and then you pull out so now I'm going to attempt to get this out of here so what I'm going to do is place this rack over it so sometimes you gotta there it is beautiful now since I must tell you the piece of the uh, the bottom I should have uh, showed you this there's a thing that goes on the inside of this and it's actually got slid down and it's in here in the cake. But we can get that out when it's cool and I start cutting. So, with that being said, I'm going to let this cool down. I wanted to say that I've, I have um, I totally forgot to tell you guys to you have a um, low size if you want um, 1.5 pounds or 2 pounds on this. And you can set it to dark or light or medium crust, which I did light and it's still kind of dark, as you can see. But other than that, you guys, I do love this thing because, I, like I said, I could do my jams or jellies or something quick or whatever. I want to do my doughs, that kneading thing that's in there. You can do your pizza doughs or, or whatever kind of dough, your bread dough, French dough, French roll, whatever you're going to do. It, you can do it through this. At least get it the dough going. It's so much faster than sitting here and me having to knead it, knead it, knead it when it gets kneaded in here. When it's done, you pull it out and you portion it and make up how you want it to be. What is you're making it for? So it's very convenient. I just uh, I hate taking it out the cabinet because it's it's um, as you can see it's kind of light but. I, it's a new, it's more of a nuisance because I have so many appliances that goes with it. I mean, that's goes that I have that it's just ugh, a job taking it down. But after a while, I'm gonna have to have to stop buying all these gadgets because I'm running out of room to store them. Anyways, when we're when this is done cooling, guys, I'm going to uh, make the the uh, frosting. And I'll show you 
when it cools down, I'm going to pour it over because I don't like it real thin. But I want it where I can kind of pour it over and not have to use so much frosting. So, because, you know, too much sweet. Anyways, I'll get back with you guys in a minute. I hope you guys find this very helpful. And I will see you when this is cool down. Okay, guys, now, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little warm. I'm ready to get this show on the road. So I'm going to put this over this and I'm going to turn it right side up. And there you have it. Okay. Now I'm going to Okay guys. So now I got my cups of sugar. Three cups of sugar in here. And I'm going to add my half a stick of butter. Oh, half a cup, which is a whole stick. Sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and put my milk in, which is a third of a cup of milk. I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Put that in. And you just stir it up. Mmm, -mm, smells yummy. Look at that. Oh, and I'm making a mess. But that's the frosting. Mm -hmm. Thick, rich frosting. I think I'm going to um, make it a little thinner because I want to kind of drizzle it on. I don't want to have to. So I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Okay, guys. So I'm going to add some more milk in here. See, as you can see, look how perfect frosting if you want it to just spread it. Maybe I'll just spread it. I'm getting it better. See? Look at that. So, you guys, if you like what I did um, with the bread, with the cake and the bread making machine, try it yourself. Get you a bread making machine and see how easy it is to do this. Sorry about the noise. Just me banging on it on the glass here. But try it out. See if you like it. Because I tell you what, it's going to be good. I can smell it. Mm -mm. I can't wait to bite into action. Wish I had me some ice cream cake. That, I mean, I, uh, yeah, that would be, hmm, maybe I should try that next time, huh? So, there we have it. There you guys have it. There it is. Now, let me get my trusty knife. Where did I do it? Oh, I forgot. I was cutting butter. You paused it. Okay, guys. Let's kind of 
cut off a slice and see what that heck it looks like in the inside. Ooh, look at that. Nice and moist. Yummy. I don't want a big piece. Look at that. Mmm, so good. It's falling apart on me. But, guess what? I'm going to try a little piece. As soon as I get me a saucer, guys. Oh, I can't even reach that. It's gonna have me a thin slice. Mm -hmm. You guys. Then let's try this baby. Mm. Not bad. Super moist. Mm-hmm. Definitely need a glass of milk with this. But, mmm, mmm. Make you want to, you know what? But it's delicious. Try it out. Tell me what you think. Sorry for smacking in your ears. But I'll holler at you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.